we know the definition of direction ratios. Now let's know about direction ratios in much more detail. See, I have enlisted three important points. There are more which we will discover when we see the questions. So on reading and solving the questions based on direction cosines and direction ratios, your knowledge of direction cosines as well as direction ratios will be widened. Now let's see the first point. It says if R vector is equal to AI cap plus BJ cap plus CK cap, where I cap, J cap, K cap are the unit vectors along X axis, Y axis, Z axis, then DCs that means direction cosines are what? A upon under root A square plus B square plus C square. B upon under root A square plus B square plus C square, C upon under root A square plus B square plus C square. This we already saw in the definition of direction ratios. So this is L, this is M, this is N. And what about the direction ratios? They are simply proportional. So direction ratios are proportional to A, B and C. So that means what? Our proportional to A, B, C means that if you have direction cosines given in front of you, you can simply find out direction ratios by multiplying the direction cosines with a common factor. Again, let me tell, suppose I have LMN as what is given here. So I have LMN as 2 by 3, minus 2 by 3, minus 5 by 3 respectively. Now what should be the direction ratio? There is not one single answer to direction ratio because direction ratios are always proportional to as you can see, right? So okay, there should not be one answer. So direction ratios can be 2 minus 2 minus 5. If I multiply the direction cosine simply by 3, if I multiply by another common factor say minus 3, my answer will change. If I multiply by 6, my answer will change and so on. So direction ratio can be listened and understood in the form of proportionality. So this is the first point. What about the second point? The second point is direction ratios of line segment joining x1, y1, uh, z1 coordinate and x2, y2, z2 coordinate are proportional to x2 minus x1, y2 minus y1, z2 minus z1. Same thing. Suppose you have a line and the line has the coordinates say 1, 2, 3 and here you have 4, 8, 3, something like that or 4, 8, 6, anything, anything. So what you will do is you will subtract, this is your x2, y2, z2, this is your x1, y1, z1, you will subtract and the direction ratios will be proportional to this result that you obtain. Next point, when you have understood this, two parallel vectors have proportional direction ratios. Now this holds a wide importance. We will see questions based on this property. By far by now, these are the three very important points. We will discover more points when we see the questions based on direction ratios as well as direction cosines. Till that time, please bear in mind that direction ratios and direction numbers mean the same.